How often do you use the word sure when you really mean no? Or sure when you really mean I'll do it if you really want me to, but like it's not actually what I want at all. And then how often when you do that, do you still have to end up doing that which is not aligned with you? I want to call this one out because I am exploring different ways that we give up our power uh, and the impact that it has. And in looking at this here, I find that the things that are really disempowering to us uh, show up in like very innocuous ways. And here goes the thing. The reason I'm paying attention to this here is that as outliers, as pioneers, as mavericks, as trailblazers, like who we are and the unique way that we see the world has value. And it's something that I know that a lot of us are working and saying, I, how do I create my impact in the world based on what is actually important to me as opposed to what is just externally accepted? And this word sure is one of the biggest barriers for people being able to understand what is actually important to them. The word sure is a barrier to you being able to know how to express what is actually true to you and for you to take a stand for what is meaningful for you. Because in those opportunities, when you get a chance to make a stand, whether it's a major important decision that's related to your business, your impact, your movement, your family, or beyond, or it's a small decision as to where do you wanna go get food today, by giving up the opportunity to practice knowing what it is that you want and being able to articulate with either a yes or a no toward how you are feeling toward any anything in, in the future, that's keeping you from being able to actually have that level of clarity for yourself and that level of confidence in yourself to share and articulate what's really true to you. I'm gonna invite you today to stop using the word sure and instead choose the more powerful stance of either a yes or a no. I can feel myself right now wanting to create a little bit more safety around this year by helping you prepare for how others might respond. But I'll leave just even putting that like that little teaser out there. I'll leave that as it is to give you an opportunity to really to really play with it. Because the only way to really make any of this meaningful is to put it into practice. So I'm going to invite you over the next 24 hours, just give yourself the practice of any time that you would say the word sure, of just stopping yourself and actually changing that to a yes or a no. And if you said the word sure, you're like, sure, let's do it. Just pause, catch yourself and say, actually, I'm starting a new practice where either I'm choosing yes or no, rather than just letting it, uh, rather than default in the sure. So in this case, I'm a no, but can we talk about what it might look like to become a yes? There's elements in here of you being able to, of actually increasing your power and increasing the, the shared power between you uh, by holding other people to a standard of being, of them being powerful as well. But here goes the thing, when we diminish our own power and we give that away for others, we do it through this innocuous ways, just like the word, sure, you make the decision for me. I don't really want to, but I'll go along with this. And I give you the power to free me of having to do this thing that I don't want to do. Then we, we miss out. And I can imagine that not every single time that you say the word shorter, times you say the word sure, where you really mean yes. And I get you on that. And I'm going to still invite you to simply make your yes be your yes and your no be your no. And to just be, be clear with that yourself so that others can be clear with you. And then we'll talk about like continuing to navigate what happens afterwards, after the yes or after the no. But that's the game. And oftentimes it's the place that we're afraid to actually be confronted with. So I'm going to invite you over the next 24 hours to remove sure from your, your uh, dictionary uh, and instead just use yes or no, and then come back and let us know how did that experience go for you? What challenged you? How often do you find yourself using, uh, using that word rather than having a clear stance as to how you sit around something? I don't think being clear does not mean that you're being unreachable. It just means you're being clear. <laughs> 
if you want a place where you can practice this uh, or and even experience what it's like to be in a shoreless conversation, uh, or actually, no, I, I actually don't like to define things by what it isn't. So by being in a conversation where yes and no actually are the, the guided uh, platforms on which we move forward, then you're going to want to come and have an experience of the Trailblazer tribe. Uh, let's go to niyama.com slash tribe. That's N-I-I-M-A-H.com slash tribe. And sign up so that you can get an invitation to an upcoming gathering and be in a real time conversation. And we'll hold you, we'll hold you accountable to yourself and why you decided to show up. And whether it's sure or some other way that you are uh, giving up your power, we will hold you as the powerful person we know that you are and that you know that you are. If you're ready to play that game, come join us in the tribe. All right. Until then, I want you to remember that you got this. You honestly got this. And we got you. Journey on. Hey, Oniyama here. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet, and then go ahead and leave one of your insights from today's video in the comments below. If you're looking to take this deeper, you can go and watch another video, or you can go to niyama.com slash tribe to get exclusive invitation to our tribe member only events. I'll see you soon.